Hi guys, today I'm going to do a presentation about how I set my um, teaching skill. And I'm going to share my screen for the PowerPoint now. So um, this is my PowerPoint. So um, just to start, I'm a language teacher and my skill of course is teaching language. Uh, to be more specific, I teach Chinese. And today I'm going to talk about how I managed to find my passion and where I managed to sell my skill and how I decide my price and my promotion. Um, also how I started to create my own channel and how I convert my followers into my clients. And I'm gonna also talk about my future plans and the conclusion. So first of all, uh, I am a native Chinese teacher ever since I was, ever since I graduated from university and I've been teaching over seven years from now. Um, and when I was in university, I was actually majored in language. To be more specific, I was majored in Japanese and also literature. And personally, I just love learning and teaching languages. For me, I feel like nothing is more happier than teaching a language because um, it's a perfect, perfect, perfect opportunity for you to get to know a person. And I feel like I, yeah, I can teach people language but there are way more stuff that my student can teach me. So I feel very lucky that I've found my passion and I have decided long time ago that this would be my lifelong passion. And firstly, I'm going to talk about where I sell, sold my skill. So of course, I started as a language teacher when I was in China and I went to a lot of language schools. Yeah, I taught um, Chinese in many language schools. Um, but I wasn't just going to one, I went to many different schools. So when I was in China, I taught Japanese, Korean, uh, European, Australian, American. Yeah, I just taught people from everywhere. And uh, I think that was very good in terms of accumulating my um, basic knowledge of teaching the language. And also um, I found some students through word of mouth. So my students refer me to their friends. And then uh, I think it was like three or four years ago, I started to um, post free content on YouTube channel. So regarding price and the promotion, at the very beginning, a free trial class. So the student would come to my class without uh, worrying, maybe she's not a great teacher. And um, yeah, using this um, promotion, I think I gained quite a lot of students. Barely a student turned me down after the first um, free trial class. And then also I started to do some free group class just to show a bunch of people the way I teach. And also uh, the price, I normally set it pretty much the same as market price because I don't want them to be not able to afford it. Also, I don't want my effort, you know, like um, I put a lot of time and effort into this. So I want to feel like I've been paid okay. And my price is never negotiable because I just think uh, I don't want them to feel, you know, the price is like too, too high. That's why it's negotiable. Uh, but now I stop free trial class because I just think mm, I, you know, I, I put a lot of time, so I don't want to do this anymore. And yeah, students are normally okay if they, if they genuinely want to learn this language. And then here comes to how I started uh, creating my own YouTube channel. So it was like three years ago and I was, I had a lot of free time. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna start to create some videos. At the very beginning, I wasn't needing a lot of students to support 
to afford my own life. So I was literally doing it for fun. And I was thinking, you know, I have this skill, why not using it? Um, but the biggest problem is I made very wrong judgment uh, about there are not many teachers in YouTube teaching Chinese. Because uh, before you before I make videos in YouTube, I barely use YouTube. YouTube was banned in China. So I actually didn't know what's the situation there. Um, that's why I think my YouTube video at the very beginning, I would say there were nothing special. They were too standard. So I, it didn't go very well at the very beginning. And of course, I tried to use IG and Facebook and that, that helped a little bit, but not like too much. And now I just decided, okay, if I'm going to be able to stand out among all these teaching videos, I need to have a very good skill and I need to be unique in a way. So yeah, I changed my way of teaching and um, I labeled my special technique. So people who are looking for that, they will know this technique is good. And yeah, that's how I, um, it worked now. And this is the uh, analytics of my YouTube channel. So as you can see over the last year, I've gained over, not over, nearly a thousand subscribers, which isn't great, but think about this. You don't need a lot of students to afford your life. So yeah, if you think like that, it's fun. As long as this student can stay with you for a long term, then you, know, you don't need a lot of them. So I'm grateful for the, uh, for this much subscribers, but I think um, with the content that I'm having now, I will get more subscribers. So I just need to keep going. And how I convert my followers into clients, I think um, main thing that I did was basically below every video, I make sure that I let my followers know that I do offer classes, and also I create a very easy booking system. So if they want to book a class, they just click a few buttons and that's done. And they can see my availabilities and my price. So they don't need to ask me a lot of basic questions. They can decide when they look at my booking system. And I think that makes it much easier than, you know, drop me a message and just uh, a lot of questions, but, yeah, this way is way more efficient, I would say. And also I use the local uh, app called Gumtree and I put a link of my YouTube video so people get to see my teaching style and they can decide if I'm the right teacher for them or not. And I would say this way so far worked the best because I think if you're in a certain country, you always want to find someone who is geographic closer to you. I don't know why, but yeah, that just happened. And regarding my future plans, I, uh, I will keep being active on social media. So I will regularly post videos or even just um, picture posts and um, keep getting more followers. And then at some point I'm going to create pre-made teaching videos I might put it on Udemy or other platform. I'm not sure yet. Um, and also I might publish an electronic books about Chinese learning, but these are all in the future. I'm slowly accumulate the things that I think are very good. And also I want to create a more online group class because I think this way student can normally afford it better and it creates a great vibe and because of the I don't know the peer pressure I think people are easier to stick to it um, they wouldn't give up you know <laughs> if there are other people studying with them and also I'm thinking maybe I'll create some meetup activities in Sydney so the students can see me in person and decide if they want to learn Chinese with me. So um, thank you for listening all my presentation. I just want to say that I think finding the passion isn't easy. So I'm very lucky that I found it. If you haven't found it, you know, try to see what you're good at and try out 
different jobs. You will find it one day. And I realized marketing is really, really not easy. It's really hard. It's a big, big subject that I need to work on. Uh, but marketing is so, so important. And I think once you found your passion and um, you know everything will be possible, you can learn how to market and you can learn how to improve your skill. Yeah, it's everything you know, we'll find a way out. So just be confident and um, try out everything and you will find your way. So my question is, I would like to hear how you guys find your passion and how you sell your skill and how to market yourself. I think it would be very good if we could exchange all these different ideas uh, thank you so much for listening to my presentation today. I hope it's somehow helpful and inspiring. And um, I'm looking forward to your presentation. Thank you. Bye.